Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome to tutorial number six and in this tutorial we are going to talk about variables in PHP. Okay, so what are variables? Well, if you think back to your first uh, couple of maths classes in high school where you first started working with variables, then you know that a variable is a placeholder for another value. So in other words, uh, in maths class, you might have had a variable called x and set that equal to 2. So you might have said, let x equal 2, okay? Then you know that x holds the value of 2. So later on, whenever you had a sentence like, I have x dogs, okay, you knew that x is holding the value of 2, so this sentence would read, I have two dogs, okay? And then this would also be dynamic as well because the value of x, uh, whatever the value of x is, that's what our sentence prints out. So let's say uh, the value of x was then changed to 12, then this sentence would read, I have 12 dogs, okay? So that's basically the same concept of... Uh, variables in PHP as well. Okay, a variable is just a placeholder in the computer's memory where we can store a value that we are going to want to use later on in the program. So this might come in handy when we start asking the user for their name and then printing out hello and whatever their name is. Okay. So in programming, uh, we won't often name a variable x or something because it's not very descriptive. It doesn't tell us what kind of um, value we're storing, we're storing in that variable, okay? So if we're going to store the user's name, we might actually have a variable called name and then we set that equal to uh, Quinton because, you know, my name's Quinton. And then later on when we wanted to uh, print out on the screen, hello, Quinton, we could just go ahead and say hello, um, or it could be echo, hello, and then the variable name, if I can spell it correctly. <laughs> and then you know that, uh, obviously, if I change the value of name, then whatever's going to be printed out would change as well. So our program starts becoming a little bit dynamic and that's why we like to use variables okay so let's say uh, name was Jessica okay then this would print out hello Jessica okay make sense uh, so variables just make our programs more dynamic uh, because they get to change depending on users input and obviously that's a lot more helpful uh, to users and that's where variables come in handy Okay, so let's take a look at how to declare a variable because this actually isn't right. You can't just go ahead and type a variable like name. We can't just type the word name because PHP doesn't know what the heck we're trying to do here. Okay, so to tell PHP, listen up, I want to make a variable. You go ahead and you type in this uh, dollar sign just like that and then you type your variable name. So let's say I was dealing with um, names, people's names, then I would go ahead and I'd name my variable name and then we could set that equal to a value. Okay, likewise, uh, if I've, we had a variable called age, then dollar age and whatever we want age to be equal to. Okay, now we can name our variable almost anything we want, but there are a few rules, okay? So, for instance, you can't have a space in your variable, okay? You can't have, uh, like, name of person, because, as you can see, uh, this is now blue, but the rest of this stuff is kind of black, so it's not, PHP isn't going to see this as one variable. So, if you wanted to use a space in your variable name, you'd have to go name underscore of underscore person okay and the next couple of rules are that you can't actually use any special symbols okay so 
um, you can't try have like backslashes or anything like that uh, or forward slashes no it's a backslash <laughs> you can't have any of those funny symbols uh, in your variable name either and you can have numbers so you can have uh, something like name one or name two but you can't start your variable name with a number so in other words if you try to uh, name a variable dollar one name okay you can see that this already is not going to work uh, because it hasn't turned blue like a variable should in uh, PHP when we're dealing with uh, notepad plus plus so basically if you want to make a variable stick to uh, alpha numeric characters but never start with a number okay now the next thing I want to talk about is this equal sign okay because whenever we create a variable in PHP we have to store a value in that variable uh, straight away okay so you're not gonna go ahead and just type in uh, a variable name and BAM you have a variable you still have to store a value in there okay so the purpose of having this equal sign here is because that is our assignment operator so in other words it's going to assign whatever value we put on the right into the variable on the left okay so this is something you guys are gonna get have to get used to in programming is we're gonna take values on the right of the equal sign and then put them in the left okay so this is the assignment operator it doesn't mean that the this is going to be equal to this value it means that we're taking the value and putting it into the variable okay so my name is Quinton so I'm gonna go ahead and put Quinton in here as uh, my value okay make sure to surround your uh, value if it's a string or if it's a, t a bunch of letters make sure to surround it with quotation marks because those quotation marks mean that this is a string okay uh, and more on that when we talk about data types but uh, basically if you're gonna have a collection of letters they have to be surrounded with quotation marks okay and the next thing is we could also uh, store a number so we could go ahead and store uh, age and my age is 21 so that would work just fine and now we can actually print these things out on the screen so we can echo out our variable so I'm gonna echo out name and then I'm gonna echo out age as well so we'll put a comma between them okay name and age so now when I click save uh, make sure that XAMP is running okay and then go back to Firefox uh, so I should minimize that for you guys to see I need to go to localhost uh, tutorials and I think it is tutorial 6 okay so now you can see I've printed out Quinton and 21 so uh, I didn't put any spaces in between here but I've actually echoed out my uh, two variables as you can see so that's it for how to make a variable and how to store a value in a variable but be sure to come back in the next tutorial where I'm gonna talk about uh, data types uh, and then I'm also going to talk about printing out variables on the screen so I will show you guys how to actually print it out properly so that we don't have uh, them pushed right up against each other so thanks very much for watching don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share the video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time